Hey friends, you can see various pictures and figures on the screen. Did you notice anything common between them? All the above things look similar to a particular shape. That is a circle. For example, the shape of a bangle, shape of a pizza, bicycle wheel, coins, etc. Circle is one of the most common shapes in this universe. In this session, we will learn all the basic terminologies and context to a circle. Let me take you to a park which is nearby my house which is also round and this park has some special features which we will learn throughout this session. Firstly, there is a fountain exactly in the center of the park and benches are put around the boundary of the park. Here, we can see that the park is a circle and the fountain is in the center of the circle and the benches are on the boundary of the park which is equidistant from the fountain. Mathematical definition of circle is also on the same lines. A circle can be defined as the collection of all the points in a plane which are at a fixed distance from a fixed point in the plane. The fixed point is called the origin of the circle and the fixed distance is called as the radius. If you see, there is a path which connects the fountain and the entrance gate. This path can be called as the radius. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the boundary of the circle. Radius is a Latin word which means ray or the spoke of a wheel. Radius is denoted by a small letter R. Now if we extend that path to meet the other side of the boundary of the park passing through the fountain, then it will be called as a diameter. The diameter of a circle is a straight line passing through the center connecting two points on the boundary of the circle. Diameter comes from a Greek word diameteros where di means across or through and meterons means to measure. Diameter is denoted by the small letter d. As you can see that diameter touches the circle at two different points. Well, when any line segment which touches the circle at two different points, it is known as a chord of the circle. Chord of a circle is a straight line connecting two points on the circle. Where it is visible in the park that diameter is the longest chord in the park. Now, if the same road extends on both the sides outside the park, then that road can be called as a secant of the park. Secare in Latin means to cut and hence any line which cuts the circle is called as a secant. Kindly note the difference between diameter, chord and a secant. Diameter is a chord which passes through the center whereas chord touches at any two points on the circle and secant is a line stretching to infinity at both the directions. Now, once we have drawn a chord or a segment, we can see that the park gets divided into two regions. Now, these regions are known as segments. The segment of a circle is the region bounded by a chord and the arc subtended by the chord. The larger area is known as major segment and the smaller one is known as a minor segment. If the chord or a secant is a diameter, then the circle gets divided into two equal regions. And in our case, it gets divided into two equal semicircles. Now just imagine, if you are jogging around the boundary of the park and when you complete one round of this boundary, it is known as the circumference of the circular park in which you are jogging. Circumference is the distance around the boundary of a circle. If you noticed, the road in front of the park touches the park only at the entrance gate of the park. 
so if there is a line which touches the circle at one and only one point then it will be called as a tangent to the circle however there can be infinite lines that can be drawn to a point on the circle but there is only one line that touches the circle through that point on the boundary of the park there is a part which contains all type of flowers this area is just a small part of the boundary and you can see that it looks like an arc and so friends it's called as an arc itself an arc is the portion of the boundary or the circumference in the circle now we saw the area which is flowers there are two ways to go to that area but both the path start from the fountain if we concentrate only on that particular area it will be called as a sector of a circle sector of a circle is the area bounded by two radii and an arc subtended between them now if we have understood what a sector is so can you give me some another example for sector i'll give you a hint we all love pizza one particular slice of pizza can be called as a sector the smaller region is known as minor sector and the bigger region is known as a major sector kindly note the difference between sectors and segments sectors and segments both are bounded by an arc but the difference is that sectors are enclosed by two radii and segments are enclosed by a chord and when that chord is a diameter sectors are equal to segments let us quickly recall what all we have learned in this session So friends before we end this session let me just ask you one last question Do you think earth is also a circle The answer is no Earth is not a circle Do not confuse the shape of earth with a circle Earth is spherical in shape and three dimensional in nature whereas a circle is a two dimensional shape in a single plane That's all for this session. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.